Welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. We really love our birds. In particular, the purple martin is one of our very favorites. It is the largest swallow in North America, and it eats its weight every day in insects. They have a beautiful song, they're very communal, and they're just a pleasure to see and be with. We have previously had a, an aluminum green and white purple martin colony with a crow guard but unfortunately it could catch a purple martin in there and lead to its demise. We decided to totally change and go with the vertical gourd system that was created by Troyer. The Troyer vertical gourds look really intriguing to me. Gourds are a very popular nesting opportunity for purple martins. So we're gonna to put together the vertical gourds by Troyer put them in and install them onto the, uh, the tower, the lift that Troyer makes, and uh, we'll be able to have eight Martin houses over our pier, over the lake, which is an ideal location for purple Martins. Let's get to it. This is what you get with the vertical gourd. It's a huge thing, really heavy duty, really nicely made. This is a great clean out port. It's got a cover that fits on it. And then there's this perch, and we're gonna assemble this. This is how easy it is to put together. This lines up with the outside. This perch piece goes inside to this hole, and it connects with this hole. Got it like this started. Gonna line it up. And then we'll put the final piece on the top. That's it. There's the vertical gourd. These perches come either circular or <clears throat> a horizontal one if you've got problems with starlings. We don't, so I got the circular one. And I love this large clean out. It'd be easy to fit to clean this out, take care of it, and I'm, I'm excited about it. It's got multiple drain holes in the bottom, which is wonderful. And then these two holes at the top are for the um, connection to the to the Troyer pole that we got which is an aluminum structure that lifts it up and you can lower it down to clean it every year it's really quite good so let's go out there let's let's take a look at at the pole and let's let's put these on the pole so you can see I've hauled all the gourds out here to the pier and then we can see the the tower And it's got some perches at the top and then this main structure which is quite good it has these high molecular weight discs in here so there's really no friction moving this up and down so we're going to put our gourd on and it's just basically this pin running this through and there it is That's the install. And we can have eight of these, which is what our plan is. Okay, we're gonna put our second one on now. And we'll just put the pin back through it. That's as easy as it is. And then at the end of the season, take this lid off, clean it out, quite good. They do suggest adding two large scoops or two large handfuls of pine needles or cedar chips. So I'll be getting those and putting those in as well. Okay, we can see the Troyer vertical gourd set, eight of these on this pole. Let's lift it up and see what it looks like when it's extended. It's got a nice cleat down here to grab the line at the end when you've got it at the right position. And now we're gonna lift it up. And it does lift up pretty darn easily, I'll have to say. It's got a good block and tackle. And there it is. 
It's a beautiful January day here in North Carolina. 60 plus degrees, lovely. So there it is. There's the pole. And there are the houses up there. It's gonna be a great place for our new Martins. Next thing we'll do is we'll install the critter guard to prevent raccoons, snakes, and other things from climbing up this pole and getting to our Martin family. And this is primarily what the critter guard is. It's an aluminum cylinder, as you can see here. And it's held in place. It actually rides on top of this. So we clamp these bars to the pole and it literally just sits on top of those. So they suggest putting it at 48 inches, but this installation won't allow that because you can see I've got the, the railing here, but we're gonna put it as high as we can. Okay, this is the next piece. It's actually two parts that are screwed together. And we'll swing that around here. And we'll get the second screw Connecting that together. So we've got the little shelf now here and secure that with just a couple screws. And that's what the whole cage basically rides on. There's a screw there, a screw in the back. Now we'll put this guard on. It's just like that. So now we're going to line these holes up. Get our little sheet metal screws in there. And that's basically all there is to the critter guard. It, it's not secure. It's intentionally made to flop around so that critters can't get a handle on this and climb up. So here's the Troyer 8 gourd, the vertical gourd Martin house with the critter guard. It turned out very nicely. I'm looking forward to seeing a nice group of Martins this spring. So thank you again for watching. You can see that's the beautiful Troyer vertical gourd Martin house set up with the um, aluminum pole and the lift. I'm looking forward to it this year. Scouts come in February, so we need to have it up there in time. Consider subscribing. Comments are always welcome and responded to. Clicking like helps the channel a lot. Thank you very much.